Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? Um, I wasn't gonna comment on it, but I'm gonna comment on it, you understand? Even though I know I'm late. But you know, I, you know me, man, I like to examine shit. I like to observe shit before I speak on anything. You know, and, and it's about that Meek Mill 6 9 shit. You can tell 6 9 was a bitch from the rip. Cause you, you see, he hopped out the motherfucking truck holding his phone. The nigga holding his phone. But the main thing that blew, pot, that, that blew past everybody's mind, and motherfuckers ain't even see it, is the nigga pointing at his own security. So the aunt, so the niggas he calling the cop, he's a cop, he's a cop, he's a cop. The nigga pointing at his own fucking people. At his own people. You dig me? And, and like, I ain't got no problems with the brother, you feel me? No, I can't judge a man. I know he winning, he put niggas on. I can judge him by that, and I salute him and respect him. But I can judge him off his actions and words he stated about 6 9 up one on some like, like, bro, who the fuck gonna fight people in front of cops? So I, you want me to go to jail? You feel me? Then you got a lot of other motherfuckers coming. If that was me, I would have did this. Y'all motherfuckers would have never did nothing. Nothing. How many times you was by yourself and niggas ran up on you? And you copped the plate. You understand? Like, nah, pop ain't nothing. Like, yo, I seen niggas like that, bro. I seen niggas like that. You feel me? That's like, you see me, man? I be by myself. Because when I pull, like, 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 I don't even like problems, man. You understand? Because a lot of my niggas did and a lot of my niggas doing life. You understand? I just got off probation doing 17 years of probation. You feel me? Got two state numbers. You understand? And a county number and a different county number. You feel me? Like, I got four fucking PP numbers, bro. Like, that shit not cute or cool. That shit corny. You dig? Like, the nigga's a rat. The nigga ratting and riding. It's all he doing. The nigga's glorifying the situation. Talking about, oh, he should have did. Listen, man. Meek did the correct thing. Yo, y'all let this rat nigga run up on me and laughed at the situation as he should. Fuck out of here, peon. You dig me? All you other motherfuckers wanna see a young nigga that's winning. Y'all wanna see his downfall. You feel me? And I ain't riding no nigga coattail nothing. I'm just, I'm, I'm speaking the truth, man. Like, like, what the fuck? And we ain't gonna say say like, like this goes, this in everybody fucking hood. You got niggas ratting and riding in niggas neighborhoods. You, you can name four rats in your neighborhood right now, I bet you. If you think I'm lying, nigga, comment. Comment. All you got to do, comment. You feel me? And I'm looking at shit like, damn, yo, like, this is what this generation coming to? Because at the end of the day, these young niggas is soulless. You look in their eyes, man, these motherfuckers, man, they don't care about nothing. When I look in my son's eyes, man, them niggas don't give a fuck. You feel me? My daughter, I look in the kids' eyes, man, the motherfuckers don't give a fuck. And I blame my generation. Why? Because my generation, we was the first generation of young niggas to hustle and shoot niggas. And I'm talking about all over the world. I'm just not talking about me and my niggas. I'm talking about my generation all over the world. You feel me? When you was born in the 80s, you know all, all, all us 80 babies, like, we fucked this generation up because these are kids. And what I mean by that, like, yo... At a young age, nigga, you gotta remember, we was the first generation up off the steps trapping, grinding, doing all that shit, you feel me? The niggas in the 70s and 60s, them niggas was militant, you understand? Our generation, it just was like, fuck it. And then, you no, know, in the 70s, when that rat shit just was in the mafia, that shit branched off to us. And when it branched off to us, niggas thinking it's cool. You understand? And like I say, it was our generation. Like, fucking, I'm a rat on this nigga, but I'm a kill him. I'm a kill his man. Like, fuck, them niggas gonna know who I am. That's you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas be riding and riding. You know, if I'm wrong, look, comment. Comment. Comment and tell me I'm wrong. But I know I'm right, man. I know I'm right. And like I tell people, man, a lot of people gotta, um, wake up and see shit, like, our kids, man, our kids is the main thing, man. Our kids, our kids are, is the main attraction. That's number one. Our kids is the main attraction. And what I mean by that is, you know, their minds is like sponges. So whatever they hear and see, they're going to imitate it. You 
You know, and they're gonna soak it in. And when they soak it in, it's, it's just crazy, man. It's crazy, you know, they grow up. They grow up to be like this. You know, and it's fucked up because these are kids. It's like, for instance, my two youngest, nigga, I can give them niggas a laptop, a phone, a computer, whatever. Them niggas to turn that shit on, turn the Wi-Fi on, password, all that shit. You understand? Them motherfuckers playing Call of Duty like pros, you understand? And, th and, and, and this is my four and six-year-old, you feel me? Like, them niggas never crawled. Them niggas got up and started walking. Real rap. The only nigga crawl was my oldest. My oldest and my youngest. My youngest. Like, both of them niggas crawled the same. On some army. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, 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 my second, too. And my second, a little bit. But my first and my last, they crawled like some army niggas. Nah, man. I love them kids to death, man. You know, that's all I got. And that's why, you know what I gotta say, man? I, I, I'm trying to. Get my feet in this door, get it wet, get get some revenue off this music shit, you know, and, and get my kids a better life than what they deserve, you know. You know the system, you know, they took a lot out of me, man. And I, I I look at I look at the commissary, like 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 the commissary money that I spent in prison, man. I look at the shit, shit was at six hundred and some thousand, six hundred and twenty six thousand dollars, bro. Facts, six hundred and twenty-six thousand dollars or six hundred and fifty, some shit like that. I I know the market is at six hundred thousand. I spent on commissary, just commissary and having on my books and all that. I mean, I'm in prison, running around with twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars on my books. Now I mean, like niggas, like I ain't got a lot of nigga. Call my social worker. And I'm in Philadelphia. You can call CFCF. And they inform you in the county what all I had. They gonna be like, that man had all this. And they send you that shit, nigga. You feel me? But like I tell people, like, on top of that, though, uh, that shit, that shit helped me get my mind right, man. And the crazy thing is I got all that shit legit. You understand? It taught me a budget. It taught me how to save. And nigga, I ain't got my GED, I ain't got my high school diploma, nothing but being but being a work release, whatever. Nigga, I got a, a degree in money marketing, money management. You feel me? And I learned a lot off that shit. I learned a lot off that shit. You know? And the reason I'm saying that is because a lot of niggas will kill you and telling you over money in a bitch. You feel me? Six nine, think you need no brown. That nigga need no pino. <laughs> but man, like I'm, I'm, I'm only stating facts, man. He, like it's, it's sad, man. And whack, whack, you better than that, whack. Like what the fuck? Like whack, you better than that. I know you probably whatever they call. I, don't, I, I can't say that nut ass word. I know you just fucking around and shit. Nah, I mean trying to get under the nigga skin, unless you really don't like the nigga. You understand? But. That's how I look at the situation. You know, that was some corny shit to say. You don't say no shit like that. Where you say, how the fuck you gonna beat a nigga up in front of cops? Nigga, soon I lift my fist, soon I lift my hands up and, and, and get in the fighter position, nigga. They can say, they can say, attempt, attempt the aggravated assault. You ever heard of that? What? They got such charges like that. Attempt to aggravate assault. Attempt to rob somebody. A nigga I met in jail, man. Well, my homie. You know what I'm saying? That's my nigga in jail. That's my homie. That motherfucker got locked up. His charges was a attempt a robbery. Attempt robbery. And I look, I said, yo, you locked up for attempt robbery. So you attempt to rob a nigga, but you didn't rob the nigga. He like, yeah, nigga, cause I ain't even robbed the motherfucker. I ain't got nothing. I just attempted to rob him. The guy said that he looked, it looked like I wanted to rob him. I called him, and I, I said, son. And it looked like I had a gun. I was like, I mean, I'm like, what the fuck? And he, nah, man, it's sad, man. It's sad. But you know, um, like I said, I ain't got no. I, all I can do is speak good about the nigga. The nigga got niggas on. He got niggas winning. Salute. 
OG balling like he motherfucker should. You know what I mean? He just talking, you no know, talking his shit. You know? <laughs> My nigga, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Shout out Wack 100, man. 6 9 you're a fucking crumb, you rat ass nigga. Little white. Squeak, 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 Bro, rap, me. Tell that nigga 6 9 to rumble me. Put the bag up. I'll be shit down 6 9 at X, man. I'm not high like that. Yeah. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. Yeah, hey, what up? Sound like him. Y'all. But put the bag on me 6 9 I will whoop your ass with one hand, man. Bro, rap. For a million dollars. And we ain't donating that shit nowhere but to the trenches, nigga. We gonna do it. 6 9 If me and you rumble and me put that bag up, or whoever put that fucking bag up, me and you can fucking rumble, nigga. World rap. Me and you can rumble, bro. And if I can be a million dollars, and I donate that million dollars to all the kids in the Kizzerton area. You understand? Those the trenches, baby. Where I'm from is the trenches. Down here the trenches, too. You understand? I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere on these niggas. But that's what I tell you, though. No, um, you gotta get familiar and get acquainted with yourself, nigga. <laughs> but like I say, man, I'm about to. Fuck, I'm gonna drop that shit, man. I'm gonna leave that shit like that and drop it. I got something for y'all, man. I'm gonna leave that shit like that and just, uh, and just drop that shit. I got exclusives coming out for you, niggas. I'm gonna leave it like that and just drop it. Fuck it. I'll give you blacklist early, you understand? And it's open for remixes, you understand? And yeah, and I'm doing features. I'm doing motherfucking features. Get at me for the low, too. You hear me? Get at me, Dollar Man. He's six nine. Suck a dick. Real rat. Your mama come guzzle a nigga. <laughs> He's 69. Your mama come guzzle a nigga. Your mama a maphrodite, nigga. Little rat. Your mama a maphrodite, nigga. She fucked this up and had you, rat ass bastard. You hear me? You see that? Look, look, six nine. Look in the sky. You see that cloud? That shit look like an arrow, right? Do you see that city? And then you see me. The arrow pointing at you about to be the fuck up there when I whoop your when, when you run into me, nigga. <laughs> Whenever you come to the city of Philadelphia and run into me, nigga, you seen that motherfucking cloud that arrow? You gonna be up there when you run into me, nigga. I'm gonna be shit down your legs, nigga. You gonna have five pounds of shit in your drawers when I hit you, dog. You gonna think a nigga hit you with a soap in the side. And I'm gonna body beat the shit out you. That's one thing, yo. I hold the fuck up. Why when people fight like, yo, I'm watching a little nigga fight a big ass ball. This nigga, little nigga keep trying to hit the nigga in the face. Nigga, get the body, bro. You gotta beat the fucking body, dog. Chop that nigga down, bro. And little nigga was getting smoothly in and ball playing with him shoulder roll. Made with him. Nigga, try that, man. Nigga, I'm gonna hit you with this body shot, nigga. You gonna be fucked up. Because you out of shape, nigga. You gonna be fucked up when I hit you with this body shot. Monk, monk, monk. Chop you right down with this three piece. Chop you right down with this three T's. Who name this three T's? He gonna lose three T's with this three piece. Timber. You understand? They gonna pull up the Popeyes. I need a three piece and a biscuit to go. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Bang with a biscuit to go, nigga. Fuck out of here. Kick my in the ass when he on the floor. Oh, no. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, and another thing, B, BLK, whatever that shit is, that promotion you Listen, man. If Queens Flip ain't got nobody to fight, I'll fight that nigga. What up? Y'all don't know me. I ain't doing it for no clout. 
I'm not doing it to get views or no subscribers. Nigga, I'll rumble you. You understand? Give me 50. You understand? Can't give me 50, nigga. Off the backboard, nigga. I dropped 20. <laughs> you feel me? Get at me, nigga. I'll beat the shit out of Queens Flip too, man. But get at me, 6 9 Your mama come guzzle the pussy. Roll rap, nigga. And they can put the bag up. I'll fight 6 9 and I'll fight Queens Flip. But Meek did the correct thing, man. He ain't gonna go to jail for you peon ass niggas, man. Nah, man. Little nigga got off probation, man. Let him enjoy yourself, man. He been off probation not even a fucking year yet. Going on a year. Let him enjoy his freedom. Let him enjoy yourself. All you fake ass gangsters talking all the day. Y'all niggas ain't on nothing. What papers y'all on? You understand? Like, now, now is your hit. Take the camera. Act like we gonna fight. I'm gonna fight you for real. Do this and that. Then when we come, I'm gonna give you like 10000 or whatever cash. And you go about you. Like, niggas be on crumb shit, man. Don't do that, man. But you know, get at me, man. It's 1-3, nigga. Dollar.